Hey guys, uh, it's been a long day and it's almost midnight here in Hawaii. Um, so I'm going to try and make this a quick video, but I wanted to um, have a look at this vase um, for a couple reasons. Um, and one of them being the box looks like it's a little beat up, so I want to make sure it's okay and get it on film as I open it. Um, and the other is it's uh, got a flame maple top and I ordered it on Amazon, sight unseen. So I want to see how the flame maple top looks. And um, I thought I'd share that with you guys. See what you get when you order a uh, flame maple top Yamaha TRBX 600. Um, just sight unseen. So my first base was this Yamaha 174. And I've modified it a little bit over the years. But I've still got that. Um, then I found this one used for 150 bucks. This is a 500 series four string, so a 504. Um, and it was broken and filthy, and I fixed it. And um, had a broken switch, fixed that, polished it up, and cleaned it up. The frets were gr literally green. Got some new strings on it, and now it's a great base. Um, but it it was never my favorite color. It's a pretty color and I like it, but it was just never quite for me. And then this is my newest TRVX, besides the one I got today. This is my five string, and this is a 300 series. So um, I like this one, but um, to be honest, I'm not a real five string player. I kind of prefer the four string, but I like to have it. And so, um, I finally decided to bite the bullet and get the TRBX that I always sort of wanted. I'm celebrating um, 16 years uh, sobriety. I haven't drank in 16 years, so every once in a while I buy myself a little gift with the money I would have spent on booze. And uh, let's check it out. So this is the box, and as you can see, uh, it's taken a couple hits. The tape here is loose but not broken, and the same goes for here. This tape wasn't broken a second ago, but it looks like it just finally broke now. Um, this little flap looks like it took a little bit of a hit, but still in one piece. Maybe a hit here, but there's a staple there holding it together. One little whack right there. So, uh, so yeah, the box has definitely taken a few hits and it didn't come packed in another box. So I've got my fingers crossed that it looks okay when we get it open. Um, I know these bases are tougher than they look. So let's see what we got. Fingers crossed. That opened easy enough. We've got our little basic packet with our Allen wrenches and our Yamaha manual. I've seen that before. And looks like it's actually face down, which is probably pretty good. And it looks like the neck is in one piece, which is really good. And so are the tuners. So I'm assuming everything else is okay. Whoa, and there goes the camera. Sorry, guys. Just turn it back around. Are we still in the picture? Yeah, okay. We're back. Sorry about that. And let's see what we have here. All right. Hey. Got uh, some nice stripes. I don't know if you can see them too well, but they are in there and they're subtle, which I'm glad about. But they're all across the whole base. And some of the ones I saw recently on Sweetwater had big patches where they didn't have the stripes. I'm gonna try and get that in there. It's nighttime here. And of course, this base is a little dusty. But I don't know if we're getting any of that in there or not, but we'll just do some angles. And like I said, looks like the neck's just fine. And it's got 
sort of blacked out hardware, which I knew. This base is pretty much supposed to be the same thing as the 500 series, except, ooh, that's a bad noise. Um, it's got a maple top, and you can see actually a pretty visible line right there. It's supposed to be like that, where um, you can see through the translucentness of the finish. So you can see where the maple is, this part here, and then this part here is the alder. Got an alder back, and actually the back is translucent too. But it's subtle because it's all in black, so, you know, most people are not going to even know. Let's take off the little plastic piece. Hmm. Have these out before easier, it seems like. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Bend it that way. Come on. There it goes. All right, so I know what the knobs do. We've got volume, blend, and our three band equalizer. And this is our passive active switch, just like on the 500 series. So basically the only difference between this base and the 500 series is supposed to be the materials in the body. And supposedly they've tuned the preamp to sound slightly different. Um, so we'll see how that sounds. We'll do a demo pretty soon um, and Give it a try playing a few songs, but I did want to unbox it and make sure it's in one piece which it is and it's pretty and It has lots of nice tiger stripes across that flamed maple. So I'm happy about that considering I didn't know what it would look like And they are subtle but I like that too. And there we have it. Hey, you guys, um, I'll catch you later. Have a great night or day or whatever. Aloha.